for anybody watching, this is a big struggle, especially in today's culture that isn't embracing these things. What would you say to somebody, maybe a Christian or maybe somebody that just totally disagrees with us? But thank you for watching if you're one of those people. <laughs> uh, yeah. What would you say to someone who struggles with same sex attraction, but they want to they want to follow God, but they struggle with this and they, they've prayed, right? And yeah. they're like, God, take this away. Yeah. I don't want this anymore. And they're on the verge of just accepting this is how I am. This is who I am because God hasn't taken it away. Mm -hmm. What words do you have for them? Paul's words. So, yeah, I mean, first of all, I would say I have, I understand the struggle is real. Like mm -hmm. I, I have compassion for you because it's difficult. I know this particular sin issue is particularly difficult mm -hmm. because it feels like so much a part of you and sexuality is so powerful and potent. So, uh, but I would just reiterate, I would iterate, reiterate Paul's words when, you know, he prayed that God would take the thorn from his flesh three times. Mm. And God basically said, no. And he said, my grace is sufficient for you for my power mm. is made perfect in weakness. And his grace is enough. His grace is sufficient. And, it makes us, it makes me uh, lean into God even more when in a, when I'm in a moment of kind of struggling, I'm like, oh my God, like, God, I need your, when this, sometimes this happens when I, you know, I, I have this kind of flash of sort of uh, attraction or I'm at a store or something and I, and I'm like, God, okay, what am I longing for right now? Hmm. What am I really long? I'm longing for intimacy. And you're, you're the one who can really give me intimacy. So I'm asking you now to give me intimacy by your spirit. Like give me, fill that void in my heart right now. And you know, what's crazy is he does. He, yeah. it's like, it's like a crazy thing. Like I feel okay. Like that, it just kind of goes away that, that attraction. And so I would say, yeah, this life, this life is a vapor. It's a mist. And it's not, it's not easy to be a follower of Christ. He never said it was going to be easy. Mm. He said, you know, the, uh, he said it's going to be difficult to follow him. So if you, I would just say, f keep, keep fighting the good fight of the faith because in the end, which is in two seconds, cause we're all going to be dead in two seconds. Anyway, in the end, it's worth it. It's worth it to follow Jesus and deny yourself. So mm -hmm. I would just say, you know, it's hard. I know it's hard, but just keep fighting. Keep stay in community, stay in your local church, stay around other Christians, have them pray for you, help have other Christians bear your burdens with you. And and uh all will all will be well with you. Following Christ, being a disciple of Christ is uh it's the best thing going mm -hmm. <laughs> it's there's nothing jesus it, is better jesus it's is what better. you're looking for it's the thing that you are missing. yes like in hebrews yeah. it's uh, in the book of hebrews the writer says jesus is the better uh sacrifice he's yep. better than the angel jesus everything else in this world and this life and this universe pales in comparison to a relationship with jesus christ yeah. and so if you have that kind of uh, kind of big worldview, if you have that big uh, sort of large lens uh, and can, can see that this life is just a mist and that, that Jesus is truly uh, all satisfying and following him is, it's all worth it. It's all worth it in the end. And just keep, keep on keeping on fighting the yeah. good fight of faith.